Just replaced my S, uh, stitch line clutch motor, which was uh, slow to begin with, 1725 RPMs, great motor. Uh, I replaced it with a Eagle Special, I believe is what I bought. Uh, I'll have to double check. One modification that I did have to make, or some of the things that I had to do before or during installation was remove uh, the throttle control. You took a five millimeter Allen key. There are two Allen heads. Allen had bolts on the top there. Uh, other complications I had, I had to put the washer on first on that side, um, and then uh, and then I slide the, the mount in. Um, and the reason you have to move the Allen keys though, or the Allen uh, bolts, is to put the carriage bolt in for the motor. Uh, I ran the wires around here. I have a needle position sensor on it. Uh, I put both bolts in. They seem, you know, both bolts seem to fit on my model. Uh, I think it's a 3 8 it's a very small Allen key, there's two Allen uh, screws in here. I would recommend being careful while tightening those, they seem like they will strip out very easily. Uh, power control module, uh, pretty self explanatory in the documentation. Uh, heat sink on this side, I ran the cable on the opposite side. Uh, I have it plugged into a power strip. What I did find out was because of the low power consumption and because it shuts off, my light only comes on when I press the pedal. So I have four pieces of canvas under here. Um, and you know, I, I have it set to stop with the needle in the up position. So it's uh, so it pretty good. I'd say, um, I'd, I'd say anybody that's skeptical about buying one of these, you know, a good uh, good 150 bucks worthwhile uh, makes a good stitch that's four pieces of uh, vinyl this vinyl is pretty soft but um, yeah can't complain I hope this uh, video was helpful